Good morning, children. Welcome to today's, today's science class. Last class, we started the solar system. Under that, we studied about the sun and we discussed about the planets and we learned two, two of the planets that is, uh, we learned about the Mars as well as the Venus. And today's class, we are going to study about the Earth. Okay, when it's coming to the Earth, it is only the one planet in the solar system on which life is known to exist. We all know that on the life on the earth it will be sustainable life we are having because the earth has special environmental conditions. Okay, yes. What are these uh, special environmental conditions which makes the, uh, the people to be survive on the earth in a comfortable way means? The first one we can say that uh, just the right distance from the sun. The second is right temperature. And the third is the presence of water and suitable atmosphere and the blanket of ozone. Okay? Just we are discussed about that. The, the special environmental conditions which are responsible for existence and the continuation of life on the earth. What are these, uh, the special environmental conditions means? The first one I said that, the right distance from the sun. Second one is, right temperature. And third one is, presence of water. And fourth is, the suitable atmosphere. And the next one, and the last one, we can say that, it's a uh, blanket of an ozone. Okay, yes. So, all these special environmental conditions makes the human beings to be uh, live on the earth in a sustainable way, a comfortable way. Okay, yes. From space, if you look at the earth, the earth appears in a blue-green color. How it appears? It appears in a blue-green color. What makes this earth to be appear like I said, uh, blue-green color means due to the reflections of the light from the water and the land masses. What are that? That due to the reflections of light from the water and the land masses. Due to the reflection, they reflect. Because of that particular reason, and we can see that from space, if you look the earth, it appears like a blue-green in color. Okay? Yes. So the next point is coming to the, the rotation. We discussed when we learned that every planet is uh, it's moving its in an own uh, orbit. It's a path of plane we discussed that. When it's coming to the axis of rotation, uh, Earth is not a perpendicular. Okay? When you look this particular picture, it is clear for you. The axis of rotation, the Earth is not a perpendicular to the plane of and its orbit. It is just like it's a tilt. Tilted way it is rotates in its orbit. This tilt is responsible for the change of the seasons on the earth. Okay? I hope it is a clear for you. Just if you look this particular picture, you can understand that. We all are familiar with that. The equator of the uh, 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 earth. It's a center wheel, you know that. The plane of the equator, we'll call it as an uh, equatorial plane. The plane in which the earth revolves around the sun is called as an orbital plane of the earth. Okay, two planes I said here. The first one is the plane of the uh, equator is called as equatorial plane. Okay, that means the equator of the earth, the plane of the equator, we we'll call it as an equatorial plane. The plane in which earth revolves around the sun is called as an orbital plane of the earth. As coming to these two planes are uh, inclined each other. Inclined means like this. These are two inclined position we can say. These two planes are inclined each other at an angle of 23.5. If you look this particular picture it is very clear for you. So this means that the axis of the earth is an inclined to its orbital plane at an angle of 66.5. So this plane of rotation makes the earth to be just tilt, tilt and in some uh, orbital axis. Okay, so this tilt is responsible for change of the seasons on the earth. 
Okay, children, is it clear? We discussed about Earth and we studied the in the only this is the only planet in the solar system on which Earth uh, on which the life is uh, uh, known to be exist. And we also learned that there are some special environmental conditions which are responsible for the existence of the and the continuation of life on the earth. Under that, I, I gave the five uh, uh, the, uh, special conditions. The first one is the right distance from the sun. And the second is the right temperature. And the third one is the presence of the water. And the fourth one is suitable atmosphere. And the last one is an, the ozone layer. Are the blanket of the ozone. Okay, yes. And so, and we also learned that when you look the earth from the sp uh, from space, and it appears like I said, blue, blue green color. So blue and uh, uh, the uh, uh, green color. Why it is looks like it's a blue green color means due to the reflection of light from the water and the land masses which are present on the earth. So later I explained about the axis of the rotation we studied and then earth is uh, the not rotating it's a perpendicular axis and it is uh, just it is tilt to its uh, uh, tilt uh, position it is uh, rotates okay and we studied there uh, the equatorial uh, uh, the plane I explained and what is the next one we studied orbital plane and these two planes are inclined to each other at an angle of the 23.5 so that makes the earth to be tilted towards its an orbit so this tilt position is responsible for the change of change of the seasons on the earth is it clear children yes so the next planet what you are going to study is about the mass okay yes the ma mass is the next planet the first outside of the orbit of the earth is the mass Okay, yes. So, the first outside the orbit of the earth is an mass. Okay, earth, uh, this mass appears slightly reddish in color. That's the reason this is also called as a red planet. It is a reddish in color, we call it as a red planet. It has uh, uh, the two small, uh, this uh, natural uh, uh, satellites. Okay. Uh, uh, whereas coming to the earth has uh, only one moon and uh, whereas coming to this uh, the mass has its uh, two small uh, natural uh, the satellites okay yes so outside of the earth this is the first planet and it is a reddish uh, reddish in color so it's also called as a red planet and it has its uh, the two small natural satellites that's all about the mass and the third one is about the Jupiter as coming to the Jupiter, this is the largest planet in the solar system. Among the eight planets, the Jupiter is the, the largest one. Uh, how much large it is? It is so large that we can place 1300 Earths can be placed on the, this particular, uh, the chain planet that is called as an Jupiter. Okay, yes, first point I said that it is the largest planet on the Earth. And it is a so large that we can place it 1300, 1300 Earth, uh, Earths can be placed in, inside this particular giant Jupiter. Okay, yes. So, you can expect that uh, however the Earth mass of the Jupiter is about 318 times that of our Earth. Okay, yes. The, ma the mass of the Jupiter it will be 318 times that of the earth it will be the highest okay so and let's come to the rotation for each planet we are discussing about uh, uh, the axis of rotation the plane of rotation how it will be so when it's come to the jupiter it rotates very rapidly on its own axis okay it rotates it's very rapidly on its own axis and we can say that it has a large number of satellites Okay, it has large number of satellites and it also has the faint rings around it. If you look this particular Jupiter and we can see that we can observe the faint rings around it. Okay, yes, you can recognize the Jupiter as it appears very bright in, it, in the sky. 
okay the year each planet has its uh, the own color we are saying that the earth is its own color it is a blue and green color and the mars has its uh, what you can say that is uh, a reddish color in red planet but as come to the jupiter it is a bright planet and venus we can say that evening with the evening uh, stars we studied that like that each planet has given one name okay so it has some faint rings around it and i can uh, you can recognize the jupiter as it appears uh, the very bright in the sky and you can also see four of its uh, large moons okay we can also see uh, very clear the four uh, the large moons on this particular uh, the picture okay so that's it about uh, the jupiter till uh, the set about and uh, jupiter the next planet is saturn so beyond jupiter uh, there is a saturn okay it is an aloysian color it has the beautiful rings that is the reason it's a very very unique planet in the solar system because of the rings it has beautiful rings it has so as usual this planet is also not visible to our naked eye you can observe only through the telescope all these planets we can see clear through the telescope with the clear uh, the position the color and uh, etc okay and it also has its a uh, uh, large number of satellites here as come to the saturn the very interesting uh, the point is that it is the the least dense among all the planets okay just now uh, this we discussed about uh, the jupiter the den the mass of the jupiter is about uh, 318 times that of the earth as said it is a jain planet we discussed but as come to this saturn it is the least dense among all the planets so we can say that since the density of this planet is less than that of the water so that is the reason of the uh, the the character of uh, the buzo in this particular lesson he got an idea that if you keep this saturn pattern uh, a certain planet on the water uh, what will happen what will happen means it's uh, he thought his uh, his thing is that it will be floats on the the water okay this we can say that this is an uh, the least uh, the dense uh, planet planets are comes uh, the two planets are there and uh, the two are the uranus and the neptune and these two planets and outermost planets and we can see only through the telescope like just like as a venus uranus also rotates from east to the west the most remarkable uh, uh, features of the uranus is uh, it's a highly tilted it's a rotational on its axis as a result and its orbital motion it appears like as a roll on its side just to look this particular picture it is highly highly tilted rotational on its side axis and it tilted in the sun just like as an inclined how this earth is like that uh, we discussed like that as a result what will happen in its orbital uh, motion it appears to roll on its side okay children that's all about all this uh, then eight planets along with this planet some more are there on the uh, the solar system uh, asteroids the next class we'll we're going to study about the asteroids that's all for today stay safe at home